Hello, this is Robert from Intrinsic Dev. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install and set up our official MyQ driver for Control 4. First step is to purchase a license. Head to our website, intrinsicdev.com, log in or create an account, and then search for MyQ. Once on this page, click Buy License Key. Licenses are tied to your process's MAC address. This will be the first thing to enter into the form here. If unsure of your Mac, that can be found in Composer in the Properties page of your processor. Once the form is complete, click Download. This will take you to Dropbox where you can download the zip. Inside of the zip, we have the .c4z driver file and integration note, which contains more info on this process. So once downloaded and moved to a directory of your choice, I've put mine on the desktop, we can add the driver to our Composer project. Under Driver, click Add or Update Driver or Agent, select the driver file, and click Open. Make sure you're on the System Design tab, Items, click the Search tab, and enter MyQ. Here it is, Intrinsic Dev MyQ. I've already added a garage room to my system. I'm going to select that and then double click the MyQ driver. Before we can start programming our C4 system, we must complete the MyQ driver authentication process. So once installed, license and the driver status is reporting driver OK, the driver will give you a pairing key. We're going to copy this and enter it into the pairing portal. Head to a web browser and enter myq.intrinsicdev.com. Paste the pairing key here, and click Authenticate. Please note you only get one successful authentication per MAC address, meaning the account we sign in with must be the end user's MyQ account. Consent. Authentication complete. Let's head back to Composer. Within 10 seconds or so, the driver will be paired and automatically populate these device fields for each door, gate, or light discovered in the MyQ account. I have one door on my account, is its name, ID, and type. If you have a gate opener, type will show as gate. The pairing key field now displays paired. So for each door or gate found, the driver will automatically install and bind the experience buttons. No changes are needed for this to function, but you might want to come here to customize your colors. Just make sure devices are visible. I go into the room, navigator, security under experience menus, modify. This driver can also control compatible MyQ lighting devices. If unsure if your light is controllable, test to see if you can control it from the MyQ app first. Many garage door opener devices have internal lights that are not actually controllable, but trigger on and off automatically with the movement of the door. If you do have these, button links can be found under Connections, Toggle, On and Off. If you head to the programming page, you can see the driver provides events for each device, opening and closing. Under the Relay Control Driver, you'll find events for open and closed. And that's it. Here's my Experience button. It's currently closed. It's now opening. Thanks for watching.